Number three. My number three for best 90s Nickelodeon show. This time we're going back to, this time it's a game show. Oh, there we go. And now this one, this this one was one of my favorites. Now, as an honorable mention, you know, it's like I said about wild and crazy kids. But this one was just really fun to watch, and the host of it was absolutely beautiful. Oh, I know what it is. Yes, and if and the one thing I loved about the show, and if I say it, the secret slime action. Yes. And yes, it is. Figure it out. There we go. With your host, Summer Sanders. <laughs> now, where are the end? Uh, it started off uh, with like, uh, like uh, it's four panels that play the game. Like, uh, I remember it was uh, more quirk than it once from the show uh, Guys with uh, and Global Guys. Mally who also played as well. Uh, Lisa Reyes from the show All That. And of course, Danny Tamborelli, the guy who always gets slimed the most. Exactly. And, like, the secret slime man can just be something like uh, having red hair or something like, like he has, or having your hair in a ponytail, or saying the word uh, the, or anything like that. And basically, somebody would just get slimed up just like that, and that was the fun of it. The yeah. secret slime action so is getting they sacked. Slime, they would get, like, a Nintendo 64 or a block. <laughs> Suck it, Geno Smith. I was actually the same But But they also had lots of guests on the show as well. They even had uh, Chris Jericho from the WCW one time and the big show as well with mm-hmm. the giant and that and uh Hacksaw and Jim Duggan as well. Oh, oh. oh. And, uh then, um, when they would get slimed, they would give them, like, a gift certificate to, uh, yeah. Toys R Us, like, for $300 or something like that, a Nintendo 64. Then it got changed, and they would give them, like, a figure-it-out t-shirt, a backpack, or anything like that. And then, of course, if you, you win the game, the first prize would be, like, um, like, like a basketball hoop or something, or a Nintendo 64 pa- package, and then the second would be, um, uh, gift certificate, whatever, Toys R Us, and then the third one be the grand prize, like a trip to Space Camp or or any anywhere else. Space uh, Camp. Yeah, but they still really were. But of course, the Lori Beth Denberg also from all that. It was like a regular panel on some show. That they got changed to be family style. Which is also good as well, and um, like they have family from like their was their secret that they do. We got like this one kid. Uh, I, I can relate to him with my toes, or I play the uh, uh, violin barefoot. And that was kind of strange. And so one of them said, "It's a master crank operator. He had all this stuff at it, and crank on the black." Yeah, I, I had no problems with that before, but, <laughs> yeah, but then came the, probably might be not best in all, Wild Town, it's a wild side, so, yeah, it was alright, but, I remember one time Steve Burns was on there a couple times, and he got slimed, one, and this girl was on there, and she invented a backpack for collecting dog waste, also known as, you know, an invention, that's so fun, yeah, but, he tried to figure it out, he said, did you need a backpack for collecting dog poo, but it wasn't it, it was waste. And they couldn't get each other. Well, come on, that's, that's, that's specific enough. But, yeah. Transferring the other room. I want to figure it out because I love it. Okay. Go ahead. Keep going. Oops. Oh, we're still on? Yep, we're still on. Okay, I'm just, uh. But anyway, uh. See? But I always uh-huh. loved it. I loved the gameplay. And, okay. And I love the gameplay. I love Summer Sanders because she's hot. She still is. And I've always loved watching it. And that's why it's my. Number three. Gary? Okay. Well, for my number three... Oh, wait a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Steve, you you forgot to mention one very important um, thing about Figure It Out. What? Billy the Answer answer Uh, Head! Like that, and then when they, when when Famous Style came, then came Little Billy. 
Yeah. Like a little, like if somebody figured it out or anything, and then <clears throat> yeah, and it'd be like a little secret or whatever, and be like, uh, what is this kid's favorite uh, teammate? And of course, Danny Tam really wouldn't say anything; just say spaghetti. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right. right. Anyway, Gary, what's your number three? My number three, um, yet again, it's in the game show area of Nickelodeon. Should have known. Yeah, um, yeah, um, my number three, this was one of the shows I used to watch constantly. Still do to the day, you know, it's on the air, but YouTube and whatnot. My number three favorite show of all time is where you get to go in a house... And uh, you get to destroy oh. a bunch of shit. Uh-huh. Make a mess all over the place. Let out all the anger and destroy everything. <laughs> you, if you can guess where the uh, if you can guess where the soda pop can is, then you can take a run through a wild house on Finders Keepers. Finders Keepers. Finders wow. Keepers, my number three. I watch the show constantly. I mean. I just love the show, especially, I mean, I liked how, oh, it sounds like a trivia, I mean, how they gave specific clues, you had to go up there, take the sticker, or just splat it on the wall, or um, take, well, I like the sticker one, I don't, I hated the pen ones, with all honesty, and how you get to go in from room to room, uh, the living room, there's the cave, there was the Flintstones cave, or whatever it's called, um, there was the kitchen, Sherlock Holmes's uh, whatever the study. The, yeah, the study. Uh, there was the toy room, the beach room, the service room. <laughs> there wasn't that. a service room. <laughs> so I'd say that. Uh, but yeah, you just get to go through. They give you like these little riddles and whatnot to try and find the object that's going through. You just get to make a mess all over the place, which was the fun of the show. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, is number three. All right, well, my number three is a, well, what is my number three? Uh-oh. Just lost it. No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't because, um, it's fresh out the box. Stop. Look at watch. Ready. Get set. It's all that. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> all that is my number three. I mean, come on. You can't beat all that. I mean, there were a few, you know, the seasons, like, um, the later seasons really sucked. Yes. Not going to lie. But the original, um, yeah, the original one back in the day was very awesome. I mean, they had the cast members, Keenan and Kel, obviously. Amanda Bynes, and she was not a drug addict. God. <laughs> uh, exactly. Did you have to mention that? Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Tamborelli, he was on there. Um, I already said Larry Beth Denberg, right? I'm Jack Campbell, fat cop. I'm Jack <laughs> Josh Server, he's he's a legend. I detect Dan. I'm Detective Dan. I'm a sort of large pepperoni pizza with no pepperonis. I'm Detective Dan. <laughs> I'm Detective Dan. Oh, it's now time for another episode of Cooking with Randy. Oh, God. <laughs> Today's mm-hmm. episode. Gotta add some chocolate to it. You wanna know? I remember one episode where Chris Farley was on the show. Yes. Yeah, so Instead was... of ketchup, you got Instead of chocolate, everything goes good with ketchup. Chocolate. <laughs> That's legendary. I can agree with that. Um, I can't say that from the later season, I only liked one second. Little fun fact about the last season back in 2000. The, oh, the last season when it was good, I should say. Yeah. In 2000 when they canceled it, and then they brought it back in 2002. But in 2000, 
Um, one of my favorite comedians was on that show. Gabriel Iglesias was on. Yeah, yeah. Right. He was on for only one season. He was awesome. Of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Iglesias. He's um, legendary. Yeah, I remember he did one skit. He was on this airplane. He played a pilot. He was like, uh, oh, this is Cat Malarkey here, and uh, where am I? You're on the plane. You're supposed to be flying it. <laughs> and Nickelodeon! <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong with all that. I mean, um, vital information for your everyday life. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Even though it was stupid, it was actually helpful. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to say it was actually pretty helpful. I can agree with that. Well, Lori Beth did the best. Dan, Danny did it all right as well, but Beth, Lori Beth was better. My yeah, opinion. hers was a lot funnier. I can agree yeah. with that. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's why all that is my... Number three.